welcome back to my channel and today I am doing a leopard print neon cut crease and obviously starting off I'm using a primer on my skin and it's the soap and glory one heck of a block primer and I'm just rubbing that all over my face using my hands and I'm now spraying the pixie rose water spray and I'm now filling in my eyebrows with the trusty Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade in the shade ash brown and I absolutely love this stuff I am now taking the two lighter shades from the Morphe 90 palette and I am setting the concealer on my eyelids. I am now taking the Morphe 35P palette and I am just applying a beautiful cool tone purpley shade in my crease and I am mainly defining it towards the inner and middle part of my eyelid in my crease just to create a beautiful sort of transition colour. And I'm repeating that step on the other eye. And I'm taking that same colour and I'm adding more of it to my crease on the, that eye. And we'll repeat with the other side which is a slightly darker purple which I'm adding to the other eye. Now taking a darker shade from the palette using a Morphe blending brush and I'm applying that to my crease and I'm just darkening up that purple just so I can create a kind of dark but soft purple smoky look before I cut the crease. And I'm now taking a very dark but very beautiful sort of royal purple kind of colour and it is absolutely gorgeous. I'm now taking my Revlon Light Concealer and I'm applying that to my eyelid to cut the crease using a Morphe double sided eyeshadow brush. And I'm just trying to get both cut creases equal and nice and sharp so you can def definitely see them and that you know that this is going to be a very, very glittery neon cut crease. Now I am taking the NYX Gold Glitter and I'm applying that to the edge of the cut crease just to add some beautiful sparkle and some definition as you know I am absolutely obsessed with glitter and obviously I love cut creases and I just love combining a cut crease with glitter I just think it looks so good so nice and this glitter is gorgeous and it really really went with the look so I'm pretty happy with it and I've taken a little bit of the NYX glitter primer and I've applied it in the line where I'm adding the glitter and I'm applying that using a Morphe double sided eyeshadow brush. I'm using the smallest side. And I'm now taking my Huda Beauty foundation and this is in the shade Milkshake and I'm applying that all over my face using my finger and then I will blend it in using my Morphe flat top foundation brush. And I'm now blending that in using my Morphe Flat Top Foundation Brush, which I absolutely love. And I just think it's so good for buffing in foundation to make it look flawless, and it goes so well with this brush. I'm trying to find how to get hold of the Huda Beauty Brush, but for now, this is definitely the best bet. I just love it so much. And I'm now buffing in some powder using my Morphe powder brush which I believe is the E4 which is amazing. I'm now taking the two lightest shades in the 90 palette and I'm just setting my under eye and also just to do it to brighten my under eye and to also make me look a lot more awake and that my eyes just sparkle a bit more. And I'm now taking the bottom row, the middle contour colour and I'm just going to do that to contour my cheeks and to make my, sh my face look all contoured and all like sharp as I like sharp contour. I will probably be lost without contouring, I just love it so much. And I'm using a Morphe contour brush. And I'm applying that to my jawline just to make it look nice and sharp as I said, but also to add definition to the bottom half of my face just to give it a little bit more shape. And I'm blending that using upwards circular motions and blending it upwards.
Now taking the Morphe 9N blush palette and I'm applying the two lightest shades to my cheeks using the Morphe yellow gold brush which is the Y one which I absolutely love. And I'm now taking the Morphe 9 Bizet Bronzer palette and I'm adding bronzer to the places where I contour just to add some warmth and definition to my face. Now taking my Pixi Rose Water Spray and I'm spraying that all over my face just to lock in and to melt all the products in my face together. Now taking the Huda Beauty Pink Sand Highlighter Palette and I'm taking the shade Santorini and I'm applying that to my cheeks for a blinding glow and as you can see I've hit the pan and it is gorgeous. And I've taken the beautiful shade below and I've added it to my cheeks as to add a little pink pop and to also like help the highlighter. I'm now taking the Jeffree Star Ice Cold Skin Frost and I'm applying that on top of Santorini as I don't ever think there's too much highlighter. I just love to glow. It is like the best. And the third highlighter is the Jeffree Star Crystal Ball Skin Frost. And it has like a sort of highlighter topper like feel. So I put it on top of Ice Cold and Santorini just to make it pop. And I'm taking the shade Fatty by Morphe Brushes, which I up their liquid lipsticks are so gorgeous. And I'm applying that all over my lips. And before I put the liquid lipstick on, before I started filming, I did actually apply the Rose Gold Elixir to my lips just to ensure that they look nice and soft and hydrated. And as you can see I like my lips to be nice and full but without being too big so I just like to go a little bit over my natural lip line. And I'm now taking back the 35P palette and I'm applying that light shimmery shade to the area where I had the cut crease. Just applying it to get a nice pop and just to ensure that it looks nice. And I'm now taking that gold glitter again with a little bit of NYX glitter primer and I'm extending a wing out of glitter because I'm winging it from the place that I cut the crease and I joined that together and it looks so good and I just think this looks so unique and different for me as I've never actually attempted that before so I think it looks insane. And I'm using the same Morphe double sided eyeshadow brush that I used previously to put the NYX gold glitter on. And I'm now taking that dark purple shade from the Morphe 35P palette and I'm adding it towards the outer part of my eyes, so the outer V and the where the wing extends, I'm adding it there just to add some definition and to help with the gradient feel that I would like. Kind of ombre eyeshadow. And I'm now taking the NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner, which is a pen eyeliner, which is my favourite. And I'm just using that to draw on the leopard print, which I love leopard print. I don't, I've done a couple looks of leopard print and it just looks so good. And I've kind of had to start practicing about how to draw leopard print. And I'm improving every day and I always, I seem to improve every single day. And I'm so happy about that. And I just, it just makes me feel so much more confident. And I'm repeating that step on the other eye.
and I'm now taking the glitter primer again and I'm adding a different colour glitter to my eyes and this is the NYX bronze glitter as I felt that it needed a different colour glitter as I would like it to look a little bit different so the two glitters really pop and it just makes my eyes seem so sparkly and I'm repeating that step on the other eye and I've put on my beautiful eyelashes which are the Huda Beauty Sasha Lashes and I'm taking a beautiful kind of purpley full tone but bright purple and I'm applying that to the lower lash line under my eyes as I know it needed a purple pop now taking the Rimmel London UK wonderfully real lash mascara which I think is so good and I love it and it's so lengthening and it's also like really easy the brush is so easy to work with and I just love it and I'm just doing that to join my natural lashes to, to my forces lashes not lashes taking the shade Arctic Glow from the Huda Beauty Winter Solstice palette and I'm applying that to my inner corner as a little blinding highlight as you guys know how much I love this shade and it's my favourite and I'm also going to apply it under my brow bone as a highlight also And I'm now taking the NYX Gold Glitter and I'm applying that to my lips just to add a beautiful sparkle to my lips and also the ice glitter. Here is the final look and I have to say I absolutely love it. It's so glittery and so different and adding glitter around the eyeliner wing just made it look so different and nice. And I really, really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please feel free to give me a subscribe on my channel with me and everything and to also like this video. I hope you guys have a fab day and I will see you very soon. Bye!